Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is Warlock 2 The Exiled. It's uh, the follow-up to Warlock Master for Game, a game which I also made a video up, uh, of when it came out. And um, yeah, the good guys at Paradox were uh, nice enough to give me a preview copy because yeah, the game isn't even out yet. It's uh, out on April 10th, so you'll have to wait a while, but I can make a, a video of this for you and uh, well, let's start a game of it. Uh, a lot of things have changed since the first Warlock, and uh, a lot of things have improved. And uh, well, let's start a game. Let's start a new game. There's also different options for campaigns and maps, but that's not here yet. But uh, I read there will be an editor for the game, so this will be filled probably later. And uh, well, let's start a new game. And um, here we have the world setup, and uh, the most important choice is right here. There's a, a new mode in this game. It's the Exiled mode. Which is, uh, well, the main feature of the game. It's um, it's sort of Civ-like, it's like Warlock, but it's also sort of like a single-player campaign. There's like a goal with uh, some end bosses even, which you have to defeat to uh, to win this. That's uh, defeat the United one. Uh, you can also de defeat your enemy great mages uh, and choose other options to, to end the game, so it doesn't have to take that long. Going all the way in defeating the United one, yeah, uh, my first game took me two, uh, 362 turns, so that can take a while, so you'll be in for a challenge. Oh, that was on a, uh, a big map though, and we'll be playing a little smaller map here. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, there's also sandbox mode, and that gives you all the world generation options you had in um, uh, Warlock 1, basically. You can make a great land, super continent, continents, islands. Your basic Civ style uh, world generation options, but for now let's do the, the main the main thing. Let's do the exiled mode and uh, let's leave those other win options off. Um, that is fine. Also the difficulty I got the difficulty on challenging because well I'm pretty good at these games now. Uh, let's move on. Now we're in uh, the exiled mode and uh, we don't have the world generation options because. Yeah, it, all the worlds are shards, all the worlds are little um, sub-things. And uh, for the focus of the video, let's have a medium world. And let's do have three great mages in here, or actually, let's just keep two. Just keep the, the, the turn shorter. Um, that should be fine. Now we have a selection of our charts to play, and there's a... Uh, since Warlock 1, there's quite a couple of new ones. Uh, let's, let's go through. There's Moralbus, which was in the old one, but has a new race of plane striders. There's, there's new races to play as as well. Uh, the other saves here is Anna, uh, which has uni humans. She's the healer type. Uh, here's Yuriak, with the, oh, or however you pronounce that. Which also has plane striders now. Here is the elves, new, another new race. The dragon queen. Xara is the leader of the monsters. And there is some Facebook announcement <laughs> on the back. Uh, let me turn that off for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, that shouldn't be bothering us anymore. So, uh, next up is Skrull the Kingpin who leads the humans. King Lich is back. And he has the uh, Undead as his race. Much more magic based than humans, basically. Uh, Amber on the Light is an elf leader. In the, yeah, he's the of the Rathi elves. We have Nefertari who leads humans. This name, which leads monsters, King Wrath, the um, something 54. I forgot what the L is. Don't use Roman numerals all every day anymore, especially these high numbers. Um, there, anyway, he, he leads monsters. Here we have uh, the first rune witch, which leads the swords. I think the swords are sort of supposed to be the, like uh, plain dwarves, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> Uh, there's also Scaliborn, which is the leader of the, the swords. And um, there is uh, Boobs McGee here, who also leads the undead. And uh, well, that's all the leaders. Well, that's all the, the preset leaders. You can also customize them, select everything you want in this list. And uh, yeah, play as them with that. But uh, for our little video here, let's just do. Uh, one of the preset mages, and uh, oh, let's select one of them that's here with preset. Um, 
Yeah, there we go, and which should we choose? Well, I should pick one of the new races in Warlock 2, uh, and that would be either the Plain Striders, the uh, Arathi Elves, or the Sfarts. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> no name, no way to pronounce that without calling them Sfarts, I think. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've played a game with them, they are nice. But, uh, for now, let's start a new game with uh, the Plain Striders, which are also a new one in this. Uh, and well, pretty fitting since we're going to be playing on the planes, and uh, let's just go with Simeral because he's a good starting starting character, especially since he's he has charismatic. And unrest is a, a mechanic in the game now, so you kind of want to stop that. Of course, play as Elderly just as much as you want, but this is a good start to one. If you've, uh, you're playing the game for your first time, I think Marobus is a, probably a very good starter. Anyway, let's start the game, but that uh, will send us into loading, and my computer doesn't like loading and recording at the same time, so I'll see you guys when we're in-game. See you guys in a sec. Okay, here we are in-game in, game in uh, Warlock 2. And let's see what we have. We have uh, spawned with a city here, a Gaga Igaka, whatever. And, uh, well, we're on a plane here, we can't see much yet, but uh, there will be an end to this world. There's some uh, flying wild serpents here, and uh, some other resources like pumpkins, uh, let's see, iron, more iron, and uh, well, let's just start the game. And uh, well, starting off, it is pretty much like War of War of the First, moving and attacking enemies is basically all the same, but that's fine. Also, my units here, the plane striders, seem pretty damn mobile. It's maybe something of this race, which uh, well, certainly helps. The swords I had certainly were a lot slower than this, but uh, yeah, every race has their bonuses. And uh, now we come to one of the first major improvements from Warlock 1. It's uh, the research sc screen. Warlock 1, the, the magic research was kind of bad. You had five choices to choose from, and whatever came after that was completely random, so you just basically had a little get all the cheap ones first but now we have a whole tech tree of spells there's basically three tech trees the wizardry sorcery and divine and if you finish like four spells of a level like the first level you can start researching the second level and so there's multiple many 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 levels um, like five I think <laughs> um, let's see one two three four five yep same for sorcery there's five levels uh, wizardry is more based in attacking and well managing your empire as well more on that later and uh, sorcery is more based on healing and buffing and summoning and, and that sort of things uh, I like to go with sorcery usually first because uh, well having a summon summon monster around is very nice for your army also having fertile lands is pretty nice let's start with that oh also um, I really should show you the other divine list can't research any of the divine spells yet because we need relations with uh, one of the gods and we need to build a temple or special towns for that before we can research this but uh, yeah, with the divine spells you, need, you just need two so you got to have to please two gods in the game if you want full use of all the divine spells and uh, as long as you have two uh, sort of temple towns or multiple things of those two gods you can get some pretty good spells like here in the end there's three things like sunstorm and curse of the living and well I don't even know them that well but uh, things like uh, shadow some shadow of will have used and it is pretty damn good um, anyway let's move on let's leave the uh, the faith stuff for later um, let's see what else do we need to do we need to construct a building because yeah we have a or a civil like town and hey there goes my FPS okay I had some major FPS problems there so I turned down all the graphics and restart the fraps and I hope this will work because I'd like to make a video of this uh, seems more stable now okay I think restarting fraps was the thing um, okay so what next uh, we need to construct a building yeah because it's uh, also a Civ-style city builder. And, um, well, we have some buildings to choose here. 
probably better to start with though is with the building tree, which is another improvement from uh, Warlock 1, which didn't really have that. So you didn't know which kind of buildings you had down the tech tree. This game has though, and uh, here we can select all sort of things. And uh, as a pro tip, starting off with some extra research is nice. And if I get a Plane Warriors Guild and then a Weapons Research Facility, I get some extra mana and some research. So I'm going to start with the Plane Warriors Guild. So then I can also build some more units anyway, which is fine. Um, otherwise, building the is well like Warlock One. You select something, you place it on the tile. Um, Building a tile also counts basically as a road. Your units will move faster over them, so place things strategically to make uh, movement to your lands faster. Also, you can recruit units here on the side. And um, recruiting usually isn't that expensive, but upkeep is. And uh, that's a pro tip for you. Look at the upkeep of your units. Like these archers have an upkeep of one gold and one food. These gray striders have two gold. And um, yeah. You got to make sure you can actually handle that. Like, you can't handle much more cash at the moment, but still have some food and mana to use. And different type of units will use different type of upkeeps. But, uh, well, more of that when we get it. Uh, also, we can recruit the Grey Striders because this is the, the first turn, and you start with that as Plain Striders. And, uh, well, this is fine. Uh, anything else news? No. We've received a new achievement, and for a desert world, I think I've already done that, but. Uh, Oh well. Um, let's uh, end the turn. And here we have a quest. This is uh, the main quest, basically. And, uh, well, we need to start off with um, finding a bridge between the worlds and using it. And uh, let's accept that quest. And uh, well, we can move around some more. That's not much we can do now. We can start expanding once our city reaches size 5. We're not there yet, but. Uh, Will be soon enough. And meanwhile, let's kill some more enemies. We oh, didn't die in one hit. And uh, clean them up after them. Fortunately, these swordsmen can't attack these flying units, but uh, yeah, that's normal. I oh, need to be able to get need to get a um, archery school ASAP to get rid of all these uh, flying little buggers. And here I shoot them. And uh, yeah. Each monster you kill, just like barbarian, barbarians in Civ, uh, leaves a little nest, and you can do that for some items or gold and mana. And uh, yeah, this is very pretty profitable, and throughout the entire game you'll get lots and lots of gold and mana by just clearing all these monster nests. Um, which also kind of leads to one of the biggest problems in the game, because uh, one of the biggest problems at the moment at least is that the unit spawn is pretty damn high. It's like every five turns uh, you get invaded, and uh, that can be annoying in the long run. But uh, who knows, that might change before the game is released. Uh, I saw some people on the forum complaining, complaining about that as well. Also, now we're size 5 and we can recruit settlers. And uh, you know what, let's do that. Let's uh, grab a settler or two, so we can expand our cities and uh, begin our giant empire. And yeah, these yes. bats are hitting us, but uh, we'll slowly kill them. Shadows of gray. Oh yeah, and these uh, gray striders have an awesome ability where they can heal themselves every couple of turns, and it it's wastes the rest of their turn, but it's faster than uh, just using uh, rest striders. option all the time. Uh, you really should get out of the way first. Let's, uh, let's see what's in the bottom left of the map here. A little lake, and not much left. And here you can see that the world is just a shard. Also, we found a portal. Um, when you find a portal, you usually get a quest to uh, get through it. And let's see. Uh, here the bridge is cursed. We can't cannot cross it until we find a way to remove the curse. Now we uh, could just go on there, and we have a chance of 50% of uh, opening the bridge or getting a curse. Um... This is a better option, but is very expensive at the moment. 250 gold and 250 mana. Or we just go on there and... Um, without doing anything, and then the entire nation is unhappy. Should be fine, since we got this actual happiness thing. But, uh... Let's just try it. Let's, uh... Try reading the spell, and, uh... Maybe... Maybe we'll get cursed. Maybe all the bridges open. If you get cursed, it's something you can dispel. And I think it's just a couple of turns, anyway. Let's see. Um, we were lucky. 
Yeah, the bitch opened the first try. My first game it took me like three tries so before that well, that worked. So uh, yeah, that's a nice start. Okay, and uh, we can construct another building. And uh, I think, yeah, either I go for the archery guild, which is um, somewhere here, I think. Um, Websites research facility. Uh, monetary. Oh, here the plain archers guild is in front of all the uh, the food production things. Um, also, research is also pretty nice. But I kind of need archers to fend against all these little snaky things, flying serpents. So let's build an archers guild. And uh, hmm, which way should we expand? Well, probably to the right. So I'm going to build this here, so my units can move towards this place way faster. Also, here's a lost caravan, which we can loot. It's basically a monster then, without any monsters on it. Uh, on also, our unit gets level up. The, strong, the longer you keep them you know, alive, the stronger they get. And, uh, yeah, a level 10 unit can uh, kick some real asses, so... Keep leveling them up, and... Um, these archers... Um, let's give them more power. So hopefully they'll be able to destroy these, these wild serpents in one shot. Also, we can now uh, recruit the fighters of the planes, which are different kind of warriors. They're actually undead. It's uh, it's the new uh, race I have, the the plane striders, which use humans and undead. And you see, this unit, this undead unit, uses gold and mana. Not just, just doesn't use any food, and it's, uh, has some other bonuses like uh, being nearly immune to missiles. And um, it's a good uh, fighting unit against uh, other AIs. For now though, yeah. Well, we're still building settlers, so let's not build anything else. And end the turn. And uh, once we have the settlers, I'll be able to show you the new city build mechanic, because that has changed quite a bit for the better. And uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit less crazy. Now, here is a great spot with two pumpkins and uh, iron near nearby as well. And I'm just going to drop my army here, my settler in the middle, so I can make a, a food town here. Because specialization in your towns is necessary. Aye. Can't do without it. Uh, okay, you guys heal up. And that should be this turn. And now, this turn, we should be able to. Strike found our fir er, or well, second city, and as you can see, uh, building settlers is cheap, so uh, and there's not much drawbacks. So unknown. spam all the cities. There's not like uh, there's sort of a mechanic like Civ, which is unrest, where you just can't build too many cities, but there's ways around that, so you can still spam cities everywhere. So always be building settlers. Uh, now first, let's make our second town here. We'll found it here. Um, no as for rules, it, my lord. yes it has. As for rules, it has to be more than three tiles away from another city. So this is three tiles away, so this will be fine. Uh, it can't build a building yet because it's still size one. So we'll have to wait for that. Uh, you guys, well, you rest up until you're finished. You guys rest up. Archers don't get the healing skill, uh, unfortunately. We go long. But uh, that's fine. Um, Let's uh, let's see. Looks like we have explored most of this place. Um, maybe I should send you guys to the portal to see what's true here. Let's send it in. And now we get warped to another place. This is uh, an ice plane, uh, by the looks of it. Also, there's a whole new minimap system where you can see all the worlds and how they connect. And. Um, yeah, we uh, just have access to the ice world of uh, Iceheim now, and Shadeless is our start world, apparently. Um, and uh, the goal of this, this single-player skirmish campaign, basically, is to get to Ardenia. Or not, or to kill the, all the great mages, but uh, if you want to do that, it's here, and uh, we'll need to find a way there. And it probably isn't a straight line, it will probably go through all these sort of worlds, and well, we'll have to find it. Anyway, let's explore some more here. There's uh, some more goodies to loot, so let's get those. And end the turn. And now we have to deal with uh, yeah, multiple plane combat and multiple plane 
cities and everything. And hey, there's an NPC town. This isn't uh, one of the enemy great mages, it's just a, a city state basically. And uh, you can take them over, and that's usually pretty good. And I think this is an undead town. Um, or these are just undead fighters, as a bueno. Um, they're common fighters. Maybe just as a human town or a Swart town. Probably a Swart town, I think. Um, anyway, but assign unit orders with the button here. You can switch between the planes when needed, or just move on the map. Or you can send a settler straight to its nether world using this map, uh, which is needed because yeah, we get giant chains and you can send a unit from one to one of the far worlds by just one command. And uh, you know what? Sending that settler out to the second plane isn't that bad of an idea anyway. Did it uh, uh, by coincidence? Didn't want to mean, didn't want to do that, but uh, let's just send him there anyway. Also, let's build more settlers. Uh, let's uh, well build one more archer, and then more settlers, and then we're out of money. Can't see my gold here. Oh, 36. My little FPS counter from Fraps is on top of it. But uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's loot this uh, lost caravan next turn. Also, let's loot this one next this turn. And uh, also here, there's some. Yes, chasms between uh, this place, which means I can't do anything here, and I don't think you can create new little land tiles. But um, also, if you're flying over these uh, chasm tiles, you will take damage. So, yeah, don't fly over there too long, but 2 HP is. 2 spirit magic is basically nothing. Um, so, that's fine. Also, we can recruit the archers now, we already saw that. Let's end the turn. And hey. The monsters are starting to spawn. So this is what turn 7. And uh, the first monster lair spawns. And also, wow. My, my fighter there got murdered. And, um... Uh, yeah, I should use the gate. And we should use more gates. Uh, that's her new quest. Um, let's see. And of course there are more wild serpents, so... Pretty good that I queued up some more archers. Ooh, one hit. Maybe we can loot both of these in the same turn. No, I can't. Oh well. Uh, archer here should pop out soon enough, and then we'll take care of this. And let's uh, yeah, keep sending our settler forward. Um, they found a mausoleum in a quest. We can rob it for some a lot of mana. Or gain happiness and, uh, yeah, making it a mausoleum. Hmm. Um. Well, 250 mana is pretty good. But having an and happiness bonus is pretty good. Although, I wonder if that is a permanent bonus or a, um, a uh, temporary bonus. I guess we'll have to check it to f try. Do we have that gold anyway? I have no idea, but uh, well, let's try it and see the bonus. Uh, we can check this bonus somewhere here, I think. Yeah, here we have a blessing. It's a temporary one, so I should have gone for the mana because I have all the unrest, uh, anti unrest I need at the moment. Here's the unrest bar, and I have uh, minus four unrest now. As long as this is in a minus, everything is fine. As long as, uh, as soon as this starts to fill up. By if you have too many cities or monsters are attacking your cities, then um, you start to get unrest and even more bad things happen. So um, try to avoid that. Also, FPS death. Oh boy. Let's cut the video a little second. Okay. Uh, that seemed to have fixed problems. Okay, like this we can continue. Um, we have a new archer here. Let's take care of those wild serpents. Shadows or did I make a, not even make a archer? I guess I queued this dude up first. Okay. Well, that's fine. And FPS death again. Okay, restarted fraps. Hopefully this is better. Looks like it. Okay. Um. Let's finish up here. Oh no, yeah. 
I was going to send this warrior to the next world. We'll have to wait for the settler though, although the settler can move this turn. And let's uh, start a new town here. Hmm. Any other resources here? Just the iron. Oh, that's fine. I'll need an iron town anyway. Um, and I'll get some more in my first world. But having two veins of iron is pretty good. Yes, you can use it for upgrades. Um, you go there next turn. And, uh... Oh, I nearly got my archers. Um... Hmm, let's send them back to town to heal. Because I don't want to lose them. Shadows of gray. You check up here, Ella. It's a pretty small world, but... And there's, like, not much resources around here either. Oh, there's some magic fields over here. But there's hardly any space for a town, but I kind of need a magic town. More iron would be nice as well. I guess we'll have to place a magic town here, because, yeah, town specialization. So, uh, this, this next town is also nearly size 2, so, yeah, we'll start doing that soon. Also, a lord has come. Uh, this is one of the heroes which can join you. Unfortunately, this one costs uh, a lot of gold, 150, and he is a healer lord. Uh, having a healer around in this early game is pretty good, but also look at his upkeeps. 5 gold, 1, one food, 4 mana. Uh, I cannot do that with the gold I have at the moment. So I'll need more gold, so I kind of need a gold town, but I think I'll start that in the next uh, place, because some tiles are better for gold and some tiles are better for food. Ever uh, like here. Um, here we have the Settlers of the Plains. Also, we have a silver mine here. Um, yeah, let's place him in reach of that. Although, probably won't use that fast. And um, here you can also see why I'm going to make the money town here. All these ice tiles are, have bonus gold production, so having a gold town here would be nice. And I think I'll pop the settler here. It'll have to grow to size 5 until uh, before it can reach the silver. But that's fine. Also FPS death. Okay. Well, if I could just keep restarting fraps, it seems to fix the problem. I guess that doesn't really like uh, all moving around all that much. Anything else we can see here before we pop the settler? Well, we'll see next turn. Uh, first of all, you check around here. Nothing really. Okay, let's pop it. Pioneers. Oh, and FPS death. Come on. Man, this is getting annoying. Maybe uh, I'll make this video shorter than I was planning to. Um, okay, so where are we? We are building a another building in our main town, which is now size six. And uh, let's see. Let's go for that research building we were talking about earlier, the weapon research facility. Let's build that somewhere here. Um, let's not build it in range of this town. Um, we'll probably be some building a mana town on the left here, so. Let's, yeah, build it over there. Any more buildings? No, but we do have more orders. Ah, and we have yes. to have our new archer as well. And that takes care of those serpents and all the monsters on this plane. But uh, there will be more monsters on this plane. There will be infinite more monsters in this plane. Um, let's queue another settler as well. Need more Ever settlers. Traveling. Uh, and this one we can uh, finally pop. Let's make a city, Yomi Yar, and uh, well then we wait until it grows. Shadows of gray. And let's explore a little bit more up here. And uh, you rest up. Uh, well, you get the base idea of the game. Now you see all the planes and, uh, and everything. And all the base construction. And uh, here we go in specialization. Well, with specialization I mean pumpkin farms, because there's two places for pumpkin farms here, and pumpkin farms are great. They give food, they give mana, it's a, a great thing to have around. And, um, hmm, what else should I do? Well, I guess I should send one of these yes. settlers to the next world, 
because this world is kind of safe. And I'll keep uh, this warrior and this archer around this plane to, uh, to keep it safe. Okay, and you, heal a wait a turn. Okay, and we'll end the turn. <laughs> or we won't. Yeah, I had the cough there, but I turned the mic off. I don't think you should hear that. I should have heard that. That's fine. Uh, up here there is a frozen caravan. Also an elven village. Nice place to get some archers if I build a city near there. Elven archers are pretty good. And uh, there goes the FPS again. Oh, fraps, why do you give so much problems with this game? Probably because it's new and my computer is old. Congratulations! You it's, have uh, successfully researched I guess new this is too far Lord. 2014 game and my computer's out of 2007, so yeah. Oh well, uh, moving on. Let's explore some more and we'll keep him close to the town though, don't want any nasty enemies coming here. Also, we got the fertile land spell researched finally. Okay. Let's uh, research another spell. And, uh, wow, and one FPS here? Okay, let's say this is a 2D menu game, come on. Um, let's see, we could go for healing, but we already have a little light level heal. Well, yeah, I kind of want to be able to summon ghost wolves and serpents. So, let's uh, get some more sorcery spells, like, um, Lesser Shadow Bolt's a pretty good one. Yeah. And we have another settler done. Let's build a magic town, like right here. Aye. And uh, you. Hmm. Well, keep near this town in the middle. So you're mobile. And uh, you'll be able to move around. Okay. Uh, yes, I want to send the unit into the portal. That was the archer. Now we're here, and uh, let's start bombarding this NPC town a little bit. Don't you run. And uh, we're still creating settlers, I think. Yep. And uh, these two units here, let's uh, put them on sentry, so they won't ask for any more orders until uh, something happens. I just put you on sentry. Okay. Let's see, anything we can bombard here? No? Next turn. Um, let's check this little corner. Nothing there. You guys, sentry. You go on. on uh, you can't shoot anything yet. Um... Standing in the forest here gives you great defense as well, so stand just here and uh, start pelting the city. Wait I'm a couple of turns, he should be able to take them down if he survives. Also, Where you really need to get there, but uh, next turn. Oh wow. Also, I should be build a farm. Well, I'll build a farm. We it's a little on. quest to give you a tip uh, on how to do things. Hey, there's polar giants here. Which are advanced fighters with 55 HP and 16 attack. They'll wreck me, so let's take, steer clear of them. And uh, send my unit down. Okay, that didn't hurt all that much. Let's uh, pelt the city some more. And in this place, we have a new settler. Uh, build more settlers. Striding let's see, again. this will be our magic town. Uh, well, let's pop that now. We have we the farm, yeah, city. because if you start a new town, you'll always start with the farm, so <laughs> quest completed. Hooray. And, um, yeah, let's make this a place with lots of mana, and we can build a science and mana boosting thing on the mana testing area. But, oh yeah, we can't do that until it reaches size 2. Uh, this one, well, let's just fill up the rest of this continent with as much cities as possible. Like, uh, here on this tile would fit a city, a terrible city, but that's fine. We need terrible cities as well. And I'll show you that soon. Here could fit another terrible city, and will appear some less terrible ones. Also, um, we have that spell 
to make fertile lands. Now all these desert plains are... Now some of them, like this, this farm, gives less production. This is why I got the fertile land spell. If I cast that, all these lands, um, like this, will turn from deserts into farms. Into, yeah, fertile lands, and that's much better for farms. So, uh, yeah, even if your city isn't uh, how you want it at the moment, like you want uh, an ice town for your gold, so uh, you can terraform them, but you'll need to research the spells, and that can take a while. But uh, later on in the game, you'll have all these options, and uh, you'll be able to terraform the lands exactly how you want. You can lower and raise the mountains, and uh, or yeah, create uh, normal tiles out of these seas. I don't think you can make new tiles, though. It's those chasm tiles will always be chasms. The chasms, new spell whatever. research is complete. I know I'm mispronouncing that always. Um, kind of getting hurt here, but uh, oh well, one more shot. And in the meanwhile, you get closer as well. Wow, these frozen swamps, yeah, these are uh, terrible for movement, and that's why this is taking so long. Uh, research complete on the Shadow Bolt. Um, let's get another level 1 spell, like uh, oh, Life Bolt, or Lesser Reconstruction even. Normal healing won't work on undead, and those few uh, undead warriors we have will need reconstruction for that. Also, another lord has come, uh, which is also too expensive. What kind of knight is this? It's the Fighter Lord. I'd like a Fighter Lord as well, but uh, I don't have uh, 100 cash at the moment. And it doesn't look like I'll have that anytime soon, unless I loot some more of these monster dens. Like, who oh, this bear den? If the monster's out, you can just loot them fine. So, uh, who knows? Also, this guy... Let's give him some uh, missile defense, so he'll live longer. And, oh, there's ice elementals attacking me. Uh, and that also gives me a debuff, which you can see little here. Or, uh, if I want more detail, right click on the unit and then, yeah, here's light frostbite. Minus one movement points and minus ten re melee resistance. You, you can get dispel uh, things to get rid of that later. For now, let's move him back so he won't be able to get shot at as soon. Also, let's move this one back because he is getting way too hurt. Or maybe we can cast the healing spell. We can. Let's cast one more next turn. Probably we'll have to wait until next turn we can, we can cast it. No, <laughs> it's fast enough that we can cast it twice already. So I really oh, shouldn't yeah. have moved in. Oh, but that's fine, because he has enough movement to still shoot. Yeah, this is how you take care of enemy cities. Well, uh, at least in the start. Uh, here I have the one perp game farm done. Let's build another one, because we can. Use the special resources when you can. Always use them. Later on, we'll start building farms, more farms and other things to boost the, the food this town can build. But we need the gold more. But uh, well, we can well, almost start with that. Yeah, our settler can move here. He can actually build a town as well. This we is a terrible, a terrible city. town. But um, that's fine. This uh, also counts for a unit or city limit, which is five now, which yeah, can't go over five at the moment because they'll have uh, unhappiness problems, and we do not want that. So what we do, we convert this new town to a special city. Special cities, you have a lot of options here, and they. Uh, produce a lot, a lot of things. Uh, the free towns basically give you some extra money. Not much, but it is some extra money and it is your territory, so you have heal extra and get through to them. Fortress cities do not give anything, which is a shame. And um, uh, it does have a better attack. It has like a magic tower attack which goes three tiles away, so if you're just settling on a new plane or near to an enemy mage or something, fortress cities can be pretty good. Uh, also, there's temple cities for all of the gods. We can choose all of them at the moment. Later on, they'll diminish probably and uh, start a getting some favor in the eyes of uh, that god. Let's uh, save that for now and let's just make a free town so we have some more money. Now this town it uh, generates three money per turn, which is nothing and. Nothing else, no unrest, no other problems. And uh, our city limit has gone down to five, four again. So, yeah, 
we just keep expanding. And uh, if we're over the limit, we'll have to convert some towns to special towns like this. Now, uh, next town, let's build another useless one up here. And let's see how far we can do that away from the other towns. Like three towns. So, here is a place to do that. Or at the end here. But, mm, let's just do it here. Let's try and pack this as full with as many towns as possible. So, one more should fit down here. One more on the left here somewhere. Like uh, three tunnels here. And is there a way to fit something in the middle over here? If I place it here, then three tunnels to here. If I place it here, then three tunnels to here. Yeah, so that is the max setup. So let's do that. And you know what? To make sure, let's do that middle tile first. Then we'll be able to create lousy towns at the edges, but hey, these lousy towns, it doesn't matter. It, they don't upgrade, hardly upgrade at all. So, uh, it's fine if you only have a few tiles to use. It doesn't matter at all. So, abuse that. And place as many of those useless towns as you can. And uh, now, ooh, we could get some iron, or um, some more gold, basically, from building on the foundry, or we get some masterwork armor which you could give to our army which I kinda want in the long run but for the short run more gold is exactly what I need and I'll have to have more uh, iron in the future as well so uh, let's build a transmutation plant let's get that money and uh, then we'll actually be having plus money so that will be good and also that will help with this town being a gold town later Okay, you survived, good. Uh, well, you're not being attacked here, so heal yourself. This one. Keep attacking. That's fine. Also, we have enough mana, 147. Let's, uh, let's throw a sh a sh one of those shadow bolts in the town as well. Speed this up. Because, yeah, we're going to have to capture this town. Also, Lord is leaving, but yeah, we don't have the cash. So... Yeah, well, we'll have more choices of lords in the future. Maybe even better ones, so uh, let's just wait for that. Okay, let's cast another heal, this dude. Mana's going down, but uh, that's fine. And move him in so he can attack the city soon enough. And you know what? Cast another heal on you. I want to keep these two alive. And more buildings. Uh, main town? Let's see. We could do something like a Hall of Masters, which gives more training, but we can't afford that upkeep. Uh, same with the barracks. Let's see, Magic Smithy is good for special armors. But this is my main town, and I want to keep that focused on building uh, units, so let's maybe get some other units here. Could start building granaries and stuff like that, but no. Um, more magic things, but we'll battle that in another town. So, is there any way we can get more science out of here? Yeah, university. Expensive, though. Uh, the problem is the weapon research facility was draining all my funds, but soon that should change. Um, what could give me some nice extra units, like... Uh, this, magic fighters and charmers and whatnot. Uh, which have melee and elemental magic. I haven't uh, even built those yet, so uh, let's go for that. And then we can also go towards the university, get even more research in the same way. Um, build it uh, somewhere in the middle. Let's, let's build it on top here, so we can cross the river easily. And we're still building settlers? No, but we also don't have the cash. Uh, level up the units which is living here, which, well, got some XP from just being alive every turn. Uh, here's a melee unit, so give him a melee damage bonus. Also, go on sentry. First plane is still safe, so, uh, yeah. Just wait for that. The and no another quest. Is complete. Hmm, red men are blocking the entrance to your city. They are blocking this entrance to my city? Damn them, just fight them off. And you get a quest to kill them. Let's see where they are. They are here. Oh, let's get them. 
I can already kill them with the town from here. Problem solved. And they didn't even spawn from a place since it was a special quest thing. So that's done. Research complete. And hey, we're done with the first tier of sorcery. Now let's get ourselves some ghost, soul, uh, ghost wolves. So we can summon wolves. And I think with wolves, they only use mana. So hey, we can summon a whole lot of wolves and expand our army that way because we have lots of mana at the moment. Also, a trader wanted to sell us a magic sword, which is uh, maybe a weapon with some elemental magic. Unfortunately, we. Well, even if we have the cash, we don't have any heroes at the moment. Uh, he's still here, I'd rather hire him first than I'd buy an item. So, uh, let's continue the siege of Zaboino. Yes. He got an upgrade, so let's do that immediately and let's give him more experience per turn. Shadows That's good for the long run. You um, heal up one more turn. Oh, you can't. Well, let's just attack them. And you know what? Give you a heal to keep you alive. Um, and uh, I'll give you a damage bonus as well. Yeah. Oh, wow, they destroyed them in one turn? Damn. Uh, only do four damage as well. Target confirmed. I wasn't expecting that. I really need those, need those ghost walls here. Just to capture this down later. For now, uh, let's see. These guys, are they weak to death magic? No, they are completely immune to life magic, though. So let's not use life both. And, um... Uh, Oh yeah, this was 8 death magic, this is 5 elemental magic, and how is their elemental resistance? A zero. So, yeah, death bolt all the way. And, uh, we have the mana. Can't cast it this turn anymore, though. That's fine. Let's construct a building. This is our mana town. Um. I'm already building this on the magic dusting fields, aren't I? Oh no, I didn't start that yet because it wasn't size the right size yet. So here we go. That gives us even more mana. And uh, the archers get also more experience per turn. Yeah, also I need more units, especially in a new world, fighter. Let's build a a great strider. Maybe by that time that's done I can build more units and uh, let's check those out. So, yeah, um, well first let's pop this one. Uh, let's make this a god down. Well, next turn, let's do that next turn. And you know what, this great strider with all the levels, you move on to the next world. That'll be faster. Let's keep the archer here to defend that. Now, don't kill my archers. They did it. Good. Let's shadow bolt you some more. They're dead. Good. Let's heal my archers. Mana's still fine, and yeah. Making 14 per turn, so let's burn all that mana. And hey, I can start here with specializing this town into a gold town. And uh, that's all these buildings, markets, tax offices, banks, mints, and yeah. Let's uh, start with the market then, and uh, do it next to the portal here so we can move faster. When you're moving out of the portal. Yeah, here we have our new town, and uh, let's choose a god. Um, first of all, build a city. We have found and it then the uh, we can convert it to one of these gods. Grela, Daudos, Fervus, Helia, Crypta and Lunord. I've tried Fervus and I've tried a little bit of Daudos, but uh, let's check our spells. What do we kind of want? Um, let's open the research panel. Now, being able to summon skeletons would also be very nice, so I could go Crypta. Um, or summon rats is kind of bad, but uh, they get other better spells like uh, more 
nice things later on as well, uh, locust swarms and things like that. Um, their certification also hand handy for some things. Um, hmm. There's all sorts of things. Uh, summon Bearman is in Fervus's thing. He has a lot of summons. Um, there's so many to choose one. There's the Tree Warden one as well. That's um, it's the healing one. You know what? I'm doing a lot of healing. Let's uh, let's go with the healing god. I haven't tried that yet. So uh, it's a uh, Grela, I think. Yeah, with the plus sign, and uh, you get a heal with 20 life magic, which is a lot better than the little small heal I have now. So we'll convert you, because yeah. Also, we're at five out of five again. Can't have that. Convert you to uh, Grela. Or Grela, or whatever you pronounce that. Now, Temple Towns, all of them, uh, they don't produce anything except magic. They give like two magic. And that grows a little bit over time. So, yeah, if you don't have enough magic, build more Temple Towns. And uh, building a lot of them is pretty good anyway. So, yeah. Let's end the turn. Uh, sure, you go into the portal. We'll need you to capture uh, Zeboino. Do that next turn. And, um, yeah, here we are. Getting pretty close off. to the capture of this town now. And um, we still have the mana, although we're also getting close to those ghost wolves, and don't know how much mana that costs, so let's save our mana. Uh, here we have our farming town, so let's see more farming things. And we need a plane archer's guild for that. Okay. I have two places to create clay plane archers. Don't really need them that much in this first town anymore. Now, probably better for the long run if I remove that and build something else. So, uh, with a right click on this, I can destroy it and I can build something new. And uh, that's fine. Doesn't cost much turns. I haven't wasted all that much. Let's see. Let's, um,. Let's get the Incorporeal Guild. And then... Um, place it on the same spot. Doesn't matter where you really build it on the map. You'll, the uh, units will also sp always spawn in the town. Let's see. Um, no, can't build them yet, so build one more settler. Two more, but we don't have the money. Oh yeah, and the warrior here is done. Let's put him on sentry. Because this place is pretty quiet. And hey, we've met a new great mage apparently. Purple is here. That's, um, we'll see it in a second. First, uh, we have seven ghost wolves, which uh, have an upkeep of six mana. And uh, how much does this spell cost? Well, we'll see. Um, summoning serpents is also pretty nice because they can fly. Having public relations will. Uh, give me less unrest, but that's fine at the moment. This will give me gore gold if I cast it, so that's a good choice for me now. Um, and let's see, Lord is leaving. Do we have enough gold for that at the moment? Nope. Just wasting too much gold, just buying all those settlers. But uh, yeah, expanding is important. Um, let's see, the other options. I should have met a new gate mage, and I've met yeah. this guy. Uh, last time I met him, he was pretty friendly, gave me your lines, and I never fought him, so... Uh, maybe we won't in this game as well. But, you know, I think we're pretty much done with uh, explaining Shadows most of the new of things here, I guess, so... I don't know how long I'll go on. In the meanwhile, let's uh, throw another Zada Vault on here, and capture the city! Awesome! Uh, also, I've discovered a new portal, so hey, we have a new quest for that. And, uh. Hmm. You could do a simple counter spell, or a big spell with 100 mana, or just try it. And if I fail that, I'll have to face a terrible guardian. Uh, I don't know how terrible terrible is, and I don't have that much things on this plane. Um. I could do it with a simple counter spell, but I kind of want to summon a wolf as well. Let's postpone this quest. We can just 
postpone it and do it later. That uh, should be fine. Uh, new city, which is the enemy city we took, and this is a, um, I think, a sword town. Uh, this should give us, yeah, prospectors and uh, warriors, and yeah, you get so you see all the these things. Swords use gold and food, basically, some mana. Um, now this town. Do I want to keep this town? It is a uh, nice size, two size town already, but in the long run I can't really handle it. Although it is next to a portal. And there's uh, more resources around here. Like uh, the donkeys and the dwarven settlement. I'd rather have a, like, a town here to have these two things. So why, I just, why not? Let's do that. What you can also do when you capture a town is just destroy it. And you get a settler. And uh, I hope this settler survives this turn. That's the problem with this. Maybe we can move here and then expand. Yes, he Im can immediately expand. So, now we build a new town. A new city has been and um, what I should have shown you is that the, the town I captured, I couldn't convert it to a special city. But now I can. So, uh, but we have resources here like donkeys and these uh, dwarven settlements. And, well, having some Dwarven units, some real Dwarven units, is uh, is pretty good. So, let's, yeah, have this making, uh, this will probably be a unit building town. So, uh, well, let's leave it at that for now and uh, see what does the most damage, for damage on that. Keep it this way and let's try and keep it. Also, um, to try and keep it, let's summon one of those Ghost Wolves. Uh, it's only 25 mana, so that'll be soon. And that bridge quest again. Um, I don't have 100 mana. I do actually do 100 mana. And in another turn after this, I'll be able to summon a wolf. So yeah, let's try a simple counter spell. Maybe it works 50%. Hmm. Or is it save for 200 for a 100% chance? So, yeah, postpone. Another save for 200 mana. Um, meanwhile, kill everything here. Gray Striders. Don't you run. Uh, these are... Oh, these are snow maidens. That's fine. They, uh... What do snow maidens have? They're, they're basically ice elves. And, uh... They're good against elemental magic against. But uh, we don't have that. What the hell? Did they just destroy this unit in a counter-attack? I really should have checked the damage. These snow maidens are tough. Damn. Um, oh well. Ever that one archer will probably hold. I hope. Uh, and you have another settler done. Let's build more towns. Um, you want know building a fortress town here near the portal will probably be fine since the portal in your first will spawns a lot of those kill quests, and I'll build a fortress down here just to keep things safe from entering my lands and things like that. End the turn, and oh, there, yeah, trying to capture that uh, that NPC down. Um, okay, you go on. This is fine. The spell is ready. Let's move to the new place. This is why I got the wolves. Um. Did they just also wreck my archer? Holy fuck. Well, this is challenging, and I guess this is where it starts. <laughs> Damn. Uh, not now. Because your unit is near to the portal, then it yeah, triggers the quest, basically. Well, that works. Uh, we're gonna need more ghost wolves, though, if we want to keep this place, so let's summon some more. Uh, this is the magic place, so let's go magic. Lots of magic things here. Magic things also usually give um, research bonuses, like this thing. So having a mana town soon is nice. And uh, now it can't expand much more, but uh, well, that's fine. Should also build a foundry here. Yeah, so I can get those iron upgrades, and I can show that. And what? Let's do that instead. Wait with the mana trap. Build a foundry instead. 
and then I can show you how to upgrade your units because uh, it's something you can easily overlook and uh, we can now recruit magic fighters well let's check it out what do magic fighters do? well they're expensive 130 gold um, they have some nice damage though 9 million 4.5 elemental cost only 2 gold to keep up that's nothing they're ethereal, they can walk on water they have bonus in the hills they're great scouts and they do extra elemental magic damage which they do these are pretty good units also they have a lightning bomb spells which uh, also gives the dot uh, damage over time so this will probably be my main unit from now on let's try and make one if we only had the money but uh, money is going up seven gold per turn now and uh, we'll get soon enough especially if we can maybe uh, start whacking some more of these monster nests oh god they're really destroying me there a new spell has been um, researched my lord and they really need an archer in yes. the new world okay you go there uh, yeah go into the portal and next turn we'll do more and in the old world we have this place to create archers now so let's you know, let's create two of them or just one because we don't have the cash Research complete. Ah, and now we're going to make some money. Uh, next turn, I'll show that. We will give you much more cash. It's like a little gold boost for a couple of turns. Um, so, well, relations are still fine. Uh, is there any tier 3 spell I really need? Raise the land could be very nice and summon imps and basic dispel as well. Um, should we get some more wizardry because this will take three turns to research five turns to research and these only well, some of them take two and here on level two I should go for Berea Barony domain management so I won't go over my city limit yeah let's head towards that uh, let's get some spells here like um, don't really care about resistance spells let's get fireball and firestorm this can be really nice another lord has come and I still don't have the cash it's a fighter lord again yeah, I really should save money but uh, it's hard <sighs> and of course the ghost wolf was destroyed this turn god damn this is nasty there no defense on this map as well anymore so this might be bad uh, no settler doesn't go into the and you get your ass over here. Can't move anymore. Uh, the ghost wolf is ready though. And this one is nearly dead. I think I'd rather focus on the uh, ice element for now though. Ah, that's one dead. Good. And gonna need more ghost wolves. Although, more money. Um, can I cast this right now? Yes, I can. Okay. So now I have gold boosts and I'm making 58 per turn? That's insane. Wow. Um, okay, should cost us way more. And uh, it's a temporary thing, you can, you can see here. It's a, uh, a two turn thing. Plus 50 gold per turn, though. God. Um, for now, let's summon some more ghost wolves. And construct a building. This is Money Town. And tax offices are next thing, I think. Or a craftsman district. Um, hmm. 50% bonus or a flat 3 bonus? Let's see. Town now makes 12, so 50% of that is like 6. So, yeah. Go banks and this style, so movement goes faster in the future. Ah, Settler has arrived down there. Uh, build a pig farm. Sure. Do I have pigs though? I don't think I have. There's no, yeah, thing near. Well, I'm, I'm accepting the quest anyway, but it's like there's not any real uh, problem if I don't do anything. If I miss the quest. Um, 
But yeah, should look out for some pigs and build a farm there when I can. Uh, how's our money doing? 94 gold. Uh, let's wait a turn. Let's not build a settler now and let's hire that lord. Uh, ah, this settler here has arrived. Build a town. Let's put this over our limit so Runra starts growing, although you're still fine. Uh, but let's make this a special city. Now, I was talking about the fortress town. Still pretty good. We can sell more favors with uh, Grilla, which would be nice as well. Um, can we research healing? Yes, we can. Um, maybe we should go with something else so we can get this uh, bonus as well on the second level. So let's choose a god which is next to Agrila. Agrila, whatever. Uh, Agrila is here, so one of them next to us is either Dauros or Grimgog. Uh, I've tried Dauros, let's, so let's make a Grimgog town. Because you need to please, need to please two gods, otherwise you can't get the later spells. Um, so let's make this a Grimgog town anyway. It's even more mana. That's fine. Oh, wrong button. Let's convert it to... Grimgog. I can't. Apparently my people don't worship Grimgog or something. So, uh, well, doubt it is then. Yeah. Makes the city a nice uh, statue and also it gets a little magic attack, which is good. Um, so it's not completely useless for defense. It's better than a free town like, uh, well, like this thing in defending. And also, if we look at the spells now, we can choose Holy Word, which does uh, life magic on a unit, 12 of them, and uh, this one does this. But now we have two, we could go up to the next tier. Uh, so that's uh, yeah, a tip I wanted to give you guys. Um, let's see here, we still have all the problems with these snow maidens. Uh, let's... Uh, Let's start attacking them some more. Nearly dead that one. And yeah, let's send in the the ghost wolf as well. Oh damn. Nearly dead. Just barely not, but uh, oh well. We'll have to deal I'll with that. The bow. A new archer. You stay in this world to protect it. Or no, you go to the next world as well. And I'll build one more archer here. How many gold do I have now? 59. Next turn though. I should have enough to hire that lord. Um, okay, well, here things have ex handed themselves on a platter. Ex including the snow balance bungalow where they spawn. So those bitches won't be spawning anymore. And yeah. Those are witches. Definitely. Uh, let's summon another wolf as well. If I summon it, uh, pro tip, if you summon spells in your own territory, it costs less mana. And uh, it will actually show that. Um, well, let's show that in a second. Uh, now it only costs... Yeah, actually gain mana by doing that. <laughs> and yeah, I don't want to do the bridge quest yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you cast, you can see it here. Uh, 25 mana normally and 12 minutes cost in your own territory. So, when possible, cast spells in your own territory. And um, summon some more, or do some more gold. Because we'll, need new, we'll probably need the, the th blessing next turn again. Yes, we do. Um, we're at 177 gold. Let's hire the fighter lord. Let's check him once again. He has some uh, resistance against uh, melee, missile, and death and life magic. That's fine. Costs a lot of gold though per turn. But, uh, oh well. We'll have one strong unit and we need that. Hire him. Okay. Um, we'll select him in a second. We can construct a new building. Now, this is our food town. So, let's go down the food path. And build a granary and uh, build it here. Also, this town really needs some more of those fertile lands since this is a food production town. 
And uh, making lots of food at the moment, but yeah, got to keep that up. It'll just go down slowly and slowly. And unlike mana and gold, you can't build any in an advance. You can't store the food, so you got to make sure your food is uh, positive every turn. Also, they killed that archer yet again. Oh no, 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 they didn't. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that. <death. laughs> well. Whistling units. Um, so this is yeah, this our fighter lord. Let's uh, give him some upgrades because we can do that here. Here we can uh, give him some armor if we had the money, <laughs> which would give him even more resistances and uh, make him even stronger. We can also do it while well, he's in the next world. We can do it anywhere. So let's start sending him there. And uh, are you still building a settler, an archer? Yes, you are. Okay. Well, now you've seen uh, just about all of the exp aspects of uh, this game. Let's put you in the forest, you have, so you have a little bit more defense in the forest. Uh, don't want to move you anywhere else. Right click. And uh, yeah, you should be able to play this uh, pretty successfully when you, this game comes out. Um, I haven't shown you any real combat against the other great yes. mages, though, but... Hmm. They were coming from here. Maybe there's a town here. There's a settler of some of them there. There's probably a portal down there somewhere, which leads to their world. Let's see if I can find that before uh, we end the video. Or maybe I can make an alliance with that AI, and he'll show me... We're at war! Huh! Okay. Uh, how about peace? No? We'll probably just start this turn, I guess, then. Um... Uh, right, something I missed. Oh well. That happens. Um, okay. Main town. Building university for even more perks, but uh, let's see, units is more important. We have the Incorporeal Guild now. And Charmers are, look like level 2 magic fighters. Uh, what do we need for char charmers? The military academy. And uh, well, we also wanted the university. We should get a lot more gold, though. But, oh well. Let's build that. How's our money supply? Yeah, that's still in the positive, even without the gold thing. Oh, and let's do some more terraforming. Nope, we don't have the mana. Uh, here, this is going to be our town for building dwarves and uh, other things. Ooh. Uh, donkey knights can also be pretty good. And the dwarves... Mm, can't really check out the options of the unit, stubborn knights, at this point. Um, but hey, I am a dwarf fortress player, so we need to have dwarves. Let's... Uh, Build a dwarven settlement so we can build dwarven units here. I hope that you take food. Probably will. Um, just yeah, not so food to spend. Um, maybe I shouldn't even gone for this food down at the moment, but uh, well, having them in the long run is nice. Uh, how's our money doing? Not enough. Yes, my lord. Our fighter lord go to the portal, and uh, yeah, we need to clear more of those snow bitches over here. E Ugh, they fucking killed the archer again in one turn. That's ridiculous, but uh, that's that's hard. That's what I get. Um, not enough mana to cast this in one turn. And if I attack them, I won't be able to kill them in one turn. So you know what? Turn back. Not now. And uh, just wait a turn. Um, a new spell has been researched, my lord. This is another portal, I think. Um, which also costs mana. What's the same spell? I don't know. Uh, person I had down here apparently died also. Getting all those little messages is kind of hard and. Uh, you easily click over them. 
The spell is ready though, but now there's no enemies in sight. Well, there's one enemy in sight, which is a giant. Uh, let's not piss off the giant. Not yet. That's way too strong. Let's uh, send you ward instead. Towards this. Yeah, we got some death magic on the elementals here. Whoa! Critical hit. Nice. Also, got uh, Firestorm, which is an, uh, an AoE spell, or uh, basically, it has uh, one tile plus the surrounding hexes. Which can be very nice later on in the game. Um, oh yeah, also what I'm using here is sorting buttons, so you can sort between all the spells. Or arcane spells, or divine spells. It's nice to use, especially later in the game. Um, we need more fertile lands. Yeah. And we search something here, like Fireball. This mana town. Mana town builds mana things, like a mana trap. Uh, soon it will expand and have a little bit more borders. This doesn't have many tiles now, but if I turn this water into a normal tile, it will have enough to build on. Also, another lord has come. It's an um, archer lord. I don't have the cash. Um, you wait until the Archer Lord is there. You wait. Postpone it or just do it so it's done. No, we can't face the Guardian now. No. <laughs> uh, fertile Land spell. Let's cast them here. Went from 11 food to 18 food. You see how important this can be, especially if you're playing like the monster race with the, the, the rats which use a lot of food. Doing this fertile land spell is very important. And even on these, these desert tiles is good. Because like this the town is using minus... It's not even using minus food. <laughs> well that will grow later, but uh, yeah, if I cast more fertile lands here it will get even more food. Uh, Attention! Yeah, let's finally capture that bear then. 80 gold, nice. Hey, 80 gold. You can probably hire this dude as well. More lords. More lore. More lords. Uh, that's different. Okay, can you reach that this turn? No. Hide in the forest then? No. Uh, well, this tile is minus 50%. Defense, so let's move here. Ready to shoot let's see if we can destroy those snow bitches and then uh, that'll probably be the end of this. Uh, here's our Archer Lord. Go to the New World. Hmm. Snow bitches. Okay, well, now they're in range of my, yes, my lord. town's defense, which is pitiful. Uh, postpone. I should just do it, but oh well. Let's uh, get rid of them. Please die. They died. Nice. I think there was one more here. Yeah, there's another frozen snow maiden bungalow. So let's get rid of that as well. Uh oh. And I angered the ogre. Let's, uh, let's make sure he's damaged. That's half his HP gone, so you can take care of strong enemies like this with just enough magic. Also, we can recruit dwarves. Dwarves. Uh, they're expensive, but um, 50 HP, 40 melee attack, uh, lots of armor, Highlander works, bonus against towns, lots of little bonuses, and it takes money and food. More money, though. Don't have that much money. So later on you should be able to upgrade those. Um, let's see if we can do that. Down here somewhere should be the Dwarven Village we have. Um, hmm. Like here's the Elven Bungalows. Dwarven Settlement. I think we have this now. Oh yeah, the, the, this one has the V in it. Later on, while well, the town is bigger, this is this symbol means uh, size 10 I think we can make dwarven overcomers which are well, even better dwarves even better dwarves um, I 
There we go. Also, I haven't had FPS death in a while now. It's perhaps what are you doing? I, I do not understand. Also, looks like the enemies are coming no closer. Let's uh, keep the enemy, the Archer Lord, close, even. And kill one of their units. Ready to shoot something? And uh, yeah, you're done this turn. And here he comes, or? Or? <laughs> That's Dutch. <laughs> And uh, looks like the polar giant isn't moving at least. Uh, let's send him in so we can kill him next turn. Or um, take four damage myself, do nine damage to him. Then he has twelve, three HP left. But I have another shadow bolt. Clear now and ready. I should be able to kill him. And I get an elven bowmaster unit because yeah. You can loot all kinds of things, uh, even units, also items and uh, a lot of gems. Oh, I yeah, should talk about gems in a second, but uh, these Elven Bowmasters look like a great unit to have here. New Archer. Um... Oh, I found a link to the Dreamer world already. Huh. Oh, yeah, there's another portal over here. Wow. This is because this is a small world, there's more, I guess, no more portal connections when I plus we're playing a, a large world. It uh, took me quite a while to find the Dremmers. The Dremmers here, I think, are the next step to finding um, the mirror world, Anadra, and then Ardenia. Um, this probably, Dremmer prob probably leave to this unknown world, which will, in my last world, was a uh, elemental world, full of crystals and stuff like that. Pretty nice to look at. I'd like to show you one more portal thing as well. Hmm. Well, I do have all these units here, including these new elven bowmasters. They're fucking elves, but uh, they support units. Don't really understand how support works. Some units are support units, but they do a thing. Uh, also, they have. Oh, it's actually in a hero. It's an archer lord, which I got. And wow. So I found a hero here. Even has spells, uh, elven roots to slow the target, and elven speed to go really fast. Um, well, with a few of this, I should be able to take care of whatever will pop out that portal. So we'll be done with that dumb quest. Uh, we will kill some more enemy units. Level up my archer lord. And uh, <laughs> my king. Minus 23 gold now because of all those archer lords. Uh, let's oh, let's not queue up alchemy transformation again. It costs a hundred mana and that's uh, that's the problem. Um, let's see here. This is the gold town. I can also build a silver mine. Uh, doesn't silver also do another thing else? No, just silver. Well, let's build that. That will grow. Uh, level up another unit. Let's give him melee resistance because he needs to stay alive. Ghost Wolfie can heal up. And hey, we here we have enemy spawns in our first world. But we are tired. We know, we know. Our nephew do it. Farewell then. Let's uh, turn it all over here. That's, I think, another one of the great majors, or... Oh no, he just spawned. Yeah. Um, and the Dremors are here. Sure, kill them. Okay, so... What happened there? Lots of things spawned. Um, the dragon comes. Where is the dragon? Here in the middle. Together, yeah, there's two of them. They are manageable. These are low level dragons. But, uh. Yeah, they're still dragons. They're still flying, so my melee units can't do shit against them. But uh, these Archer Lords should work wonders. Uh, this one as well. Fortunately, he can't walk around here unless I lower the walls. Yes, my lord. The mountains, huh? even. Can't do that yet. Um, research done. Now, uh, 
need one more spell here. Frost weapon and chance, sure. Let's kill everything we have here. And this is why I kept an archer. Um, so we can kill these fucking flying serpents again. And loot them. Well, this solves my money problems. And mana problems also a little bit. Hey, you can still shoot. Nice. So yeah, don't leave your wolves undefended because shit will spawn. Guaranteed. Um, I really should be getting an end video. Oh yeah, I will should still tell you about the magic upgrades. But would be nice if I actually had magic to upgrade before I show you that. Um, let's uh, which. Vendor doing here. Well, he's also in the middle of where the enemy is, so that is fine. Let's uh, shoot him some more. Or maybe I can give this dude a little bonus. Uh, just some armor, nothing which will boost his damage. That's fine. Let's uh, shadow bolt him. What is he weak against? Uh, death magic? Yeah. Death magic, it up. That's all I can cost this turn. E you. Well, stand here next to the portal. Yeah, you know let's do it. I want to end this video. Let's uh, step onto the bridge. Let's see what spawns. Or, oh, <laughs> it didn't actually spawn the thing. Well, then I'll show you what's in there next turn. So it looks like the Dwarven Settlement also has a little defense thing. Some races have that, like where the building is also a defense for you. You can we use it as a little tower. Um, uh, you just open that encampment, you go north. And yeah, snakes cleared out. Go back to town. They clear out, but more spawn. Now I have two sets of spawn in two turns, basically. Here. You have successfully researched a new spell, Oh, it's just a caravan. Lord. Just not even an eight spawning thing. Later on, it'll be all spawning things. Um, Shadows of Grey. Of this version, at least. On the way of the bow. Go back to town. Uh, you wait a turn. Spell is ready. No, 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 no. You don't go there. Now, um, Vendril, where are you? Moved away. Oh well. Kill more monsters. And uh, let's check uh -huh. what's true here, what the next level is like. It's uh, a dead world, apparently. It's, um, yeah, Silentium, a dead world. Seen this before. Back then, it was a big battleground. Uh, here. Ooh, there's vampires, which are pretty strong units, actually. Uh, they do death magic, which is, yeah, kind of painful. Um, so if you build a city here, you can, on sulfur, you can build elementals, which is pretty nice as well. Elementals only take magic, so building a city there, pretty good. Uh, this will nearly kill them, so try and kill them anyway. And death magic won't work on vamp on vampires, so let's not cast that there. Uh, yes, my lord. Hmm. Clear-eyed and ready. Okay, you also go in there. That was faster. Okay. <laughs> Try and kill them ASAP, and maybe start a new town in that world ASAP. Uh, this world is also has a size 5 town, so I should start expanding here. So we build way more settlers as well. But money. Um, let's cast the Shadow Bolt on this bear. Apparently, uh, they can summon bears, which probably meant this AI is a fan of Fervus. Let's see. And uh, yeah, the AI is going towards Fervus, which is to summon bears and. Bear man and sort of religion. E frost weapons and stunt I've researched. Oh yeah, the magical enchantments. I should show you that. Uh, first, let's get buried in the main agent. 
there's a final tip. You want to build more cities, make sure you have this. This will raise your cap. Um, this will go to 6. Uh, later on it will go to like 7. And it, you, at the end you, end max, you get a max of 11. So uh, 11 cities you manage yourself is the maximum you can get. But with all these extra sub-cities you can get way more. Uh, let's see, building more buildings. Farm town. Farm town builds farm things. I could also build something on the iron, but uh, well, more food. Uh, more damage for you. You defend the town. Oh, and the magic. Next turn. <laughs> Played 40 turns of this now, that's uh, nice. Got enough points, let's do this turn then. Yeah. This is magic town. Build magic things. Uh, Dwarven Town build Dwarven things. Or maybe Disturban Donkeys as well. Hmm. What? Yeah, sure. Let's check the Donkeys. In the first game, they were nice. Uh, can't look at them yet, but it's fine. Ah, now this is nice. The Archer Lord has leveled, and this bonus gives him plus 50% death magic. It's doubled, uh, it's up this DPS from like 16 to 24. So Ready now my lord is something. pretty damn good. And uh, especially lords and uh, yeah, heroes basically gain a lot of things when you level them up. So keep them alive. And uh, Fendral here is nearly dead. Let's uh, maybe finish him like this. Yo, it's one of them gone. I don't know where the other one went. So probably Destroyers. under the fog there somewhere. Uh, you wait. You wait. Attention. Uh, you have some fun. Finish off the vampires. And, uh, yeah, now you have a look of this dead world. Ghost wolves wait. And uh, oh yeah, the magic thing. I hope. I have some gems, I do not. Okay, well, uh, this is the final thing I want to explain. Uh, sometimes when you loot monster lairs or you beat something, you get these magic gems. They have all sorts of enchantments and you can slot them into your spells. Basic Diablo weapon style. And they have all sorts of things, uh, like reduce casting time, um, increase the critical chance, uh, give little buffs if, or debuffs with special spells. Like in my last game, I had a greater healing spell, which also gave a little regeneration bonus for a couple of turns after that, which was amazing. And uh, other things like uh, having a firestorm spell, which is multiple hexes, combine that with a bane thing, so enemies take even less damage. And uh, of course, I think you can you can also do the wrong combinations, like having a summon spell and upping the critical chance on that. I don't think that actually works on the monster upping the critical of the monster or anything. But I might be wrong on that, I'm not completely sure. I don't think, I think if you put the gem in there like that, it is a waste. Also, uh, the gems, if you put them in once, they are stuck in the spell. You can destroy the gem, but you can't get the gem back. But you can destroy it and put in another gem into your spell. Um, okay. Well, that is really about all I wanted to say and show you to you guys. It uh, should make a long enough video. I have no idea how long this went on for now at the moment, but that is fine. I'll let, uh, let's end the 40th turn and then let's end the video. We've done some quests. I've, I've shown you some things. How the world and the planes look. And uh, yeah, if you don't know, if you don't like this game already, you probably won't like it at all. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, uh, I like it. It's uh, it's a great improvement on Warlock to One. It's uh, yeah, there's uh, some things which needed to be done. The, the whole town system with the unrest was needed because in Warlock One you just spammed towns everywhere and you had to manage all of them. And now with this you have to manage five to eleven towns, and that is a lot more manageable. 
Still it has its little kinks in the system, like um, I don't really understand why there isn't an option for a town that creates food. Like maybe have the fortress cities create food. Because in other yeah, playthroughs I had lots of food problems. And uh, if I were able to create towns which create food like that, would have helped, but uh, I couldn't. So um, that's maybe a tip for the developers if you're watching. Ready to shoot something. Um, well, let's finish this turn. Anything else here? More snow, qu snow queen. Oh god, that's like a level, not even stronger one. One seventy-five HP. Holy fuck! And it calls elemental skull winter summon a snow maiden. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Sometimes there's like strong lords or something on the plains. I had like a one desert world where there was a a uh, Egyptian goddess walking around, I forgot the name, and uh, she had like 400 HP as well, so it'll take a while to clear this plane. Anyway, uh, that's the 40th turn done. Let's uh, show the neutrals again, and let's end the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope you're looking forward to, to this game. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely pretty happy uh, playing this game before it's out, it's pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, what else should I say? Well, nothing really. Uh, you have the basic tips I have. Uh, don't build too many worlds, uh, managed towns per world. I now have like three on this world and two on here, but in the long run, maybe make one or two big cities per world and make sure they can have all the towns they can get. They're near all the best resources. Maybe just skip some of them. Like, uh,. Yeah, skip some iron if you, if you have to. Go for the better resources like the dwarves or magic fields or whatever you can find. And uh, be sure to specialize. Don't just build any building will you need to make towns which specialize in a thing or you will have lots of problems. Like, uh, here this town. 28 food now. That's minus 5 gold. But uh, 28 food. That works. You need to specialize. Um... Any other tips? Um, well, if you're going to the end world, if you're going to Ardenia, make sure you're prepared. There's a lot of strong bosses there, basically. And I was uh, summoning dragons left and right, and I still had problems beating them all. So yeah, be prepared before you go towards uh, Ainadra and I Ardenia. Um, okay. Um, well, I can't think of anything more. Um, maybe I'll stream some more of this game as well later, but I don't know when yet. We'll see when that happens. As for now, uh, yeah, this has been Warlock, and uh, soon, uh, April 10th, you will be able to get it. Oh, I should also look at the price while I'm at it. Okay, price is uh, 30 bucks or 30 euros for the cheapest versions. There's also versions with more stuff uh, for 40 and 50 dollars, but uh, you'll be able to choose that yourself. Um, so, yeah, well, that was everything I wanted to show here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.